Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to a very special episode number 59 as we go over the historic launch of SpaceX's Super Heavy 24-7. And just like those Raptors did, let's dig in. On Friday afternoon, the chopsticks were moved into position around Ship 24 in preparation for the vehicle's final lift onto Booster 7 before the integrated flight test. Early Friday evening, shortly after SpaceX received its launch license from the FAA, workers were spotted walking with the explosives for Booster 7 and Ship 24's flight termination systems. A short time later, crews took those explosives up in man lifts to the flight termination system boxes on the common domes of each vehicle for installation. Early Saturday morning, it appears that the cable for the construction elevator in the orbital launch tower failed, causing first the counterweight and then the cable itself to fall down the tower. Around noon, crews wrapped up the installation of the flight termination system on the Ship 24 and then began removing the temporary pressurization lines to prepare the ship for lift. Around the same time, a sheriff was spotted beginning to clear the road around the launch site as a safety precaution for the lift. By Saturday afternoon, all was ready for the final stacking of the first flight-ready Starship and Super Heavy. Ship 24 was raised up the tower and rotated over before finally being set down on top of Booster 7. A short time later, crews took lifts up the tower and went out onto the ship quick disconnect arm to remove the cover plates and prepare for connection to Ship 24. Once everything was in order and crews had returned to the ground, the ship QD was extended, aligned, and then finally connected to Ship 24 for the final time. Around the same time, the launch mount work platform and the two counterweight laden SPMTs that had delivered Ship 24 for stacking left the launch site and headed to the SPMT yard for storage during the launch attempt. As final preparations were underway at the launch site, more festive preparations were going on at the build site as a laser show was seen being projected against the back side of the mega bay. In the pre-dawn hours of Monday morning, the chopsticks released Ship 24 and moved to their launch position as SpaceX worked towards its first attempt at an integrated flight of Starship and Super Heavy. As the morning went on, SpaceX flight control pulled go for launch and began loading propellant into the vehicles. The countdown proceeded and the vehicles frosted up. With around 10 minutes to go, however, a pressurization issue with a booster due to a frozen valve caused SpaceX to cancel the launch, but the countdown continued down to T-40 seconds as they performed more of a wet dress rehearsal to get more data. Once the road was reopened following the launch attempt turned wet dress rehearsal, a fleet of tanker trucks arrived and lined up to offload cryogenics to replenish the orbital tank farm for the next attempt. Early Monday evening, LabCam caught the orbital launch mount work platform as it made its way down Highway 4 back to the launch site. The next morning, the platform was raised to allow crews easy access to the booster's raptors for inspection and possibly repairs and maintenance as they prepare for the next attempt. While visiting the launch site for final camera setup, we were able to catch some footage of the SpaceX crews hard at work to address the issues from the first launch attempt and ensure both vehicles and the ground systems were prepared for the next day's attempt. As crews were working on top of the launch mount, one of the orange man lifts blew a hydraulic line, spraying hydraulic fluid around the area. Following two days of intense work, the end was in sight and crews began reattaching covers and cleaning up as they shifted from repair work to launch preparations. As part of final preparations, the orbital launch mount work platform was lowered onto its stand for removal from the area. A short time later, the platform was back on Highway 4 heading back to the SPMT yard for storage during the launch attempt. On Thursday, the road was closed shortly after midnight and the pad cleared just a few hours later as the second launch attempt of a fully integrated Starship and Super Heavy drew near. Shortly before 7 a.m. Central Time, Flight Control pulled go for launch once again and began loading propellant. The countdown proceeded nominally all the way down to T-40 seconds where a hold was called. After about a five-minute wait, the issues were cleared and the countdown continued. 